been like out thrifting a lot over break and I kind of wanted to share some of the stuff I got with everyone. So, okay. So, this, like, since being back home for break, like, I found such really nice stuff that normally, like, I would not find back home where I, like, live um, for school because I'm a college student. So, um, and, like, back there, like, everyone kind of has, like, a similar, like, a very, like, trendy, like, Tumblr, like, aesthetic style. So, it's, like, sometimes hard to find really, like, unique stuff. So, one of the first things I found was this, uh, jacket, which I was, like, super excited about. Um, it looks like this. It's, like, a, uh really light wash, acid wash, like, um, denim jacket, but it's also a dress jacket, and these go online for, like, so much money, like, these are really expensive, and I've always wanted one, and I found one, and it was $9.99, which is a little pricey, in my opinion, usually I don't spend, like, $9.99 on, like, anything, but... It was, it was like a guest denim jacket and I've never seen a denim jacket in like this kind of like white acid wash before so I was like super excited and I also found this pin um, and it looks like that and it's like a like a little rose and a heart and that was only like 40 cents and I thought it was really cute I was like okay so the next thing I found was like a pair of shoes and I know everyone's gonna think these are like really tacky but I really like them and like early 2000s is like coming back in style uh, like early 2000s fashion so um, I found these shoes and it instantly reminded I don't know if you've guys seen like Venus do line they came out with a line that is very like inspired by like Delia's ads from like the late 90s early 2000s and a lot of them feature like chokers and platform shoes and maybe like mini dresses and I was like super inspired to like kind of dress that way but not for like the like 60 70 dollars that they're asking for so I found these shoes at Goodwill these were um these were only five dollars and um, they're like these platform, uh, loafer type shoes, and I don't really need any more shoes, but I saw these and I was like, these are so, like, really nice and interesting, and platform, because I'm five foot two, I'm like, really short, so, um, yeah, these were, like, only five dollars, and they're in really good condition, there's a little bit of scuffing, but these are, like, genuine from, like, probably like 2001 so because I remember owning a pair of shoes like that um I also got uh, another pair of shoes I also um I also got another pair of shoes which were these uh uh from Goodwill which are these like platform sneakers that just look like this um I've wanted a pair of platform sneakers for a while and I saw some at one except they were like $27 they were like $30 and I was like I'm not paying $30 for like a forever 21 shoe so um I actually found these at Goodwill they were only $5 and they're originally for Walmart I think these came out pretty recently probably during the summer um but yeah, like they're okay. Like the platform isn't really heavy, which is okay. Like, um, but they were just five dollars, and they're just like black platforms with white laces. And I thought those were super nice because I love platforms. Um, the next thing I got was this. Uh, shirt. I found this at Goodwill and I was like super shocked because I didn't think I would find something like this and it reminds me, all of my style is very like, like, I don't know, very try to like make, like replicate an expensive brand without like actually buying expensive brands products because I don't have any money. 
So one of the brands I like a lot is Lazy Oaf, and when I saw this shirt, it like instantly reminded me of like Lazy Oaf stuff. So it looks like this, and it's got like these dinosaurs going to school over this like grid pattern, and it's just like a shirt. It's kind of like a Henley because it's like the buttons, but. Um, this was only $1.99 because it was half off because Goodwill's, around here, Goodwill shirts are usually $3.99 full price for the short sleeve ones. So this was only $1.99 and I thought this was like so unique. I've never really seen anything like this and very much like my style. So I had to get that. Um, also on that same Goodwill trip, I got another shirt. Um which I was like super, I've like never, this was one of my favorite finds of like the whole break, never seen anything like this, and so I found this shirt, and it says black women are number one, and it has like this black woman, and it says the world over, and it's like this bronze color, and it's super 90s, it's totally from like the 90s, and um, the back says black beauty is a black woman and I was like super excited like I've never seen anything like this and it was only um $1.99 at Goodwill was half off so I was like I had to buy it like and I bought it um one of the other things I got on that trip too because like I got everything like pretty much like half off was this uh shirt um, it's just like a shirt probably from like, I don't know, 80s or 90s, and it just has this like windbreaker material, it's like a polo, it was in really great condi condition, and it was only half off, it was half off, so I just went ahead and bought it. Um, this is also one of my favorite finds of the whole entire, uh, break. Um, I found this, and I was like super excited. Um, I usually don't like a lot of, like, 70s clothes, because usually the 70s clothes you find at their store are, like, the browns and these weird, like, burnt oranges and basically ugly things, in my opinion, like, they're just not my style. Um, but I found this and I was like, this is so, like, cool, and I have to have that. I've never seen anything like this at their store before. So, I got this, like, shirt. And it's sheer and it is from the 70s definitely vintage and the sleeves I wish I could, was wearing this the sleeves are huge they're like really big and the collar is like really big but it has like this really cool like pattern on it and it's kind of sheer but it fits me really well and this one was full price so it's for $4.99 because the long sleeves are $4.99 at Goodwill, but it was definitely worth it um, because this is like true vintage. Um, okay, one of the other things I got was this belt, which I kind of impulse, honestly, I like impulse bought it, but like whatever. Um, and it looks like this. It's very early 2000s. I remember having belts like this when I was in like kindergarten, like the plastic holographic belts. But this one is strangely for like adults. I've never seen like one for adults. Like this one's strangely for adults. And um, yeah, I thought it was pretty unique and interesting. And it was $1.99, so it was like, it's just a belt. You can't beat that. Um, and then I got this from Goodwill, this was also half off because I'm like a exclusive like try to shop half off as much as I can shop for um, this kind of like pullover thingy with three quarter sleeves and a top. It's actually really pretty bright, um, I don't, but yeah it was, it was only like 250 so I got it. Um, and then I found this shirt, um, so like I found this and I tried it on and it was like $5 and I was like I'm not paying $5 for a shirt that is only like okay, but like 
usually if I'm paying like that much, it has to be something really great um, that I know I'm gonna like get a lot of use out of. And I actually found a stain when I was trying it on in the dressing room, and the lady actually discounted it to 98 cents. So at that point, I was like, I might as well get it because that's a really good price. And so, in the stain, most of it washed down, so I have to go back and like get some like other bits that didn't wash out, but. It looks like this. When I saw it, it kind of reminded me of, like, I don't know, something I would see online and not want to pay, like, the $60 that it would cost for. And it's just, like, a color box shirt. This is, like, blue, white, yellow, purple, pink, blue, and then, like, I think this is purple on the back and then white. So, yeah, this was only $0.98. Cents and it's really comfy and like I said I just have to get the stains on the white part so I can just bleach it if I have to. Um, then I got this dress which I was like super super happy about because I like never find dresses at the thrift store I like and this one was like really unique and it reminded me of the stuff that H&M is currently selling with their holiday like New Year's collection. So the dress is going to be hard to pick up but it's like, it has like this green like indigo shimmer. So it looks like when you step into like the light it really is like, it's actually like, like incredibly like shiny like it's not gonna really um pick up on the camera but it's like a really shiny dress and this was in the kids section even though it's an adult's dress and it was five dollars i think um that's why i always check the kids section because oftentimes like women's smalls and extra smalls are conflated for kids sizes so you can find a lot of like adult clothes most of the time in the kids section um, the other thing I bought, the other dress I bought, was something that was just a staple, and, like, I don't really need another velvet dress, but this one was, is, like, super, like, comfy and really easy to just throw on, and it was only $5, so, like, just this crushed black velvet dress, and it's from, originally from Forever 21, and it's in really great condition. I'm pretty sure they probably would still, even this is like one of their styles that they just like replicate pretty much like every year, like just one of their like kind of basics. But the material is nice and it fits me really well and it's super comfy and it was only five dollars and as opposed to what like the fifteen dollars they would charge me. So yeah and then one of the last things I bought was just this uh plain turtleneck um and it's just this blue color um I don't know I just I bought it just because like I wanted some like plain stuff um because I have a lot of pattern stuff I don't really have a lot of like plain stuff so I bought it and it was half off so it was only 250 and it's originally from Forever 21 but like the condition is and it's like really nice um still which is like really surprising because usually Forever 21 stuff like when you see in the thrift store is like sometimes kind of busted but yeah um one of the last things I bought was this necklace um which is going to be really hard to pick up but I'm gonna try it's like this um emoji necklace and this one was actually from five below and i thought it was like really cute it came with earrings which i don't know what i'm gonna do with but it's like the little like um sad face and i thought it like summed me up really well so i bought it and i really like emojis so yeah oh and i also got this dress which is kind of boring but it's just this, like, dress. Yeah. It just looks like this. This was, like, $3.99, I think. It's, like, $3.99. It was really 
cheap. It's like a kid's dress, and but it's like a 16 and a half, so it fits me because I'm a size small, so I, I can fit into a 14 and 16 in kids. Um, so it just looks like this. It just is like a really early 2000s kind of dress, so I got it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have today. So like, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. And